Right, we're back into the Callaway bag and we're going to use the, uh, the new Epic Speed driver head for this test, but the real component that we're testing is going to be driver shafts. So I don't know about you, but I've always, I always wonder what difference it makes and how much difference it makes. We've got three very, very different shafts and we want to see what impact it has on not only distance and spin, but also in terms of dispersion as well, because we've got one driver shaft that is, that is one inch shorter than the rest. And in theory, that should perform a lot better in terms of dispersion, but we shall see. Right, we'll have a look at the three different shafts first of all. And like I said, they are quite a bit different. Um, they are all hazardous smoke in terms of the type of shaft, but their weight differs. And also, like I said, in one of them, so does the length. I'll read these from the top so I don't mess this up. We've got a 60 gram in a regular shaft, okay? We've then got the opposite end of the spectrum. We've got a 50 gram, but light in terms of its flex. And then we've got the 50 gram, I do believe, in a regular in terms of its flex, but then one inch shorter than standard. So the interesting bit for me is just how much difference, because they are quite different in their type, how much difference will that make in terms of performance? So I think we can only do one thing, start it in some golf balls and gather some data. Right, so I'm gonna kick things off with the lighter shaft. Now, a 50 gram light shaft, so traditionally what I would think in my head, I go for a fit, I'd look at my swing speed, which probably tops out at sort of anything between 96, 97, 98 mile an hour in terms of driver swing speed. And I would put myself into, generally play a 60 gram stiff shaft. So we've got a weight difference and we've also got a difference in sort of flex. What am I expecting to see in this? Well, I'm expecting it to be, again, in my head, quite whippy in terms of the flex that I see and also um, in terms of the swing to feel that flex and to be a little bit concerned about where this thing is going. That's what I would expect to see. I'm going to start off by hitting and collecting some ball data with this driver. I've got to admit, I mean, um, even with the practice swing, that instability, which I referred to, that I thought I might feel, and the kind of uh, very much a whippy, I'm not getting that kind of feel at all. Whether or not I'll get that when I try and hit a ball is another thing. That's an absolute solid shot. That's oh, seriously, that's right down the middle. I want to say right down the middle, don't worry, we will get software that is going to give us some kind of shot tracer and uh, I know that's what you want to see, you will get it very, very soon because I don't want to be hitting balls down there and telling you that they're right down the middle, we need to start seeing it. But for the time being, trust me, that was pretty much, I reckon, we'll have a look at the data in a minute, that's as good as I can hit a golf ball in terms of with driver. A little bit of a surprise, I'll carry on collecting data with this one and then we'll shift into something that will get a little bit more like what I would expect to use based on my swing speed. Right, I'm gonna change shafts. We're gonna to go to the opposite end of the spectrum. This is a 60 gram shaft. Uh, our settings in terms of the head, nine degrees in terms of the loft, no adjustments made in that respect. Mid kick point is this shaft, but at 60 gram, it's only regular in flex. So from a weight perspective, I would expect to notice the difference. Um, and obviously being regular as opposed to light, I would expect to notice a difference in the flex as well. And when I say notice, I mean like in, in my swing and be able to feel the uh, sort of whole difference in that setup. Um, based on practice swings, I would say I couldn't do that. Oh, that's an absolute belter again. It's maybe just a little bit left the target, but it's a real good solid ball. It did feel extremely solid, but then to be fair, the one eight on camera with the light shaft felt fairly solid as well. That's a big carry, um, and it's an impressive first ball. So maybe that weight difference is making a difference. What we'll have to see is what happens overall when I collect uh, five or six shots with this that I'm happy with, and then we'll move into that slightly different shaft again, which is one inch shorter. Which one of these are you expecting to come out on top at this point? Right, so final shaft, 50 gram, regular, one inch shorter, mid kick point, set it up into this uh, neutral position again. I'll tell you what, it's worth sticking around because I'll, um, I, I won't give too much away, but so far you'd be, um, you'd, you'd be interested in the results, let's put it that way. So I wouldn't go anywhere just yet, and no skipping to the end either. 
Don't forget, so my swing speed in this video this morning, and uh, we're, we're warming up, but I think we're, we're going to average around 96 mile an hour. So I'm very much the average golfer. I maybe swing it a bit more like you do with, uh, with driver speed. So if you like what you're watching, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll get your comments in as well. Of, uh, is this the kind of testing you've been through? Have you tried this process or are you just ordering stuff that is based on sort of, like I said, your swing speed and matching it up to a shaft that you think would have been suitable? Uh, I mean, first of all, what I might do as well is I might put, you can tell, and it, and it only seems, it's always weird because again, and I say you can tell, is it all just in my head? But you do seem a little bit close to the ball in terms of the control of the head with that one inch shorter shaft. It doesn't seem a great deal. Um, as a measurement, but it does in terms of when you stood over the ball. We'll hit one and see. I think it's my best driving performance uh, of the season, to be honest with you. Because again, I know you can't uh, take for granted what I say, but believe me, that's right down the middle. Um, probably didn't get it right out the middle of the club face, but we'll see in terms of data what that does. The big deal with this one, isn't it, is about control and dispersion. I've got to say, I've hit the ball fairly well so far, so uh, the dispersion test I think is always, can be misleading. If you're swinging the club well, most things go in the direction that you intend. And uh, so I'll carry on it in balls, we'll carry on it in data, and then we'll do an overall review of that and uh, see which one, see which one you'd come out on top and which you would uh, perhaps choose to put in a bag. What I can tell you is that the Callaway Epic Speed as a driver, I think is phenomenal. I'll put it into that what's in the bag and I think he's a really, really good driver, you know. Let's hit one more. Well, we've hit two balls in terms of dispersion, then two are on top of each other. Anyway, we'll see. All three shafts are now tested, and uh, as I said halfway through this video, stick around till the end because it's quite interesting, at least I find the data that it provided. We'll start off with the numbers for the light shaft. Um, swing speed on average was sort of 96, 97, uh, which is about where I'm normally at, 146.6 ball speed, incredibly impressive, this driver head does perform well. Um, an average spin of 3,237 carry, numbers that I would say are really, really impressive. Um, and one figure I haven't got in there is a launch angle, launching at 12.2, so I think for me, that thing performed incredibly well, and if you have a look at the dispersion, me with driver in hand, I think uh, I'm more than happy that we're finding fairways with that. And that was the biggest surprise that I got was that I didn't A, feel the lightness of the uh, flex. Um, and that surprised me. So I went then went into what is a 50 gram uh, regular flex. So did I notice much difference? Well, in terms of numbers, ball speeds drop slightly 145.9, spin also dropped. But again, these are averages over a number of shots. Um, launching at 12.5, very, very similar, and a carry distance on average of 236. So the reality is between those two shafts, I would say there was a very little difference whatsoever. And that in itself surprised me. Um, arguably, again, we go to a stiff shaft and potentially that spin number drops a little bit, but then it, what impact does it have on those other numbers? But we then went into the final shaft, which was, don't forget it was 50 gram but it was one inch shorter. So it was, it was exactly the same shaft as what we just used, 50 gram regular, but one inch shorter. And what did that do in terms of numbers? Well, it was, again, in terms of ball speeds, it increased. So 147.9, that's quite a big leap. The spin came down to 2.4, but we got an average carrier 2.40. And in the five balls that I recorded, four of them were over 240 and one of them did drop off at 233 launching at 12 degrees they're phenomenal numbers and uh, arguably without any doubt that if you look at those three drivers or three shafts rather the shaft the one inch shorter produced the far better results if you have a look at dispersion the 50 gram looked a little bit tighter but i literally nailed every ball with as best i can put a swing on it so I don't think you can even argue that dispersion was better or worse in terms of the shorter shaft or the longer shaft, if I'm being honest with you. It really did depend on the quality of my swing. But the thing that without doubt did change was that ball speed. And that ball speed in that one inch shorter shaft, I think is all about finding the sweet spot that little bit more often. And I think that's where getting that ball speed right out the middle, 
made all the difference in terms of the numbers and I think those averages were unreal for that kind of uh, again don't forget the swing speed I've got the numbers we were producing were phenomenal yet again for me it's just an interesting test that just shows that I, I seem to say a very pass on a similar message that I also learn myself and that's that preconceived ideas are, are dangerous and uh, you need to go into custom fits with a very much an open mind and maybe Next time you go in, instead of being directed towards the shaft that uh, you would normally go to because of your swing speed, maybe ask that you try something at a polar end in terms of opposites and try something like I did, which was that 40 or 50 gram light, then try that one inch shorter and see what impact it has on your game. But for me, I'm very much swayed towards putting the one inch shorter shaft into that epic speed head. That looks like a real winner for me. I hope it does it out on the fairways and not just in this... Uh, sterile environment of the driving range anyway as ever hope you enjoyed that one thank you for watching comments down below always interested to know uh, have you had similar experiences and what are your thoughts on the findings in this video and uh, stay safe and i'll see you all soon